Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how the rise of Skywalker has officially made Darth Ravon canon. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding me for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video and any other video from the channel that you check out, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that the bell is completely filled in, as this is the way you will never miss a new video the second it goes live. Do it! The Rise of Skywalker is officially out in theaters, and it was number one movie in the world according to its first weekend stats release in the box office. While it's not as good as either of its predecessors, it does give a lot of fan service in this film. Before we go any farther, I'm going to throw out a spoiler warning for anybody who hasn't made it to the theater yet to see The Rise of Skywalker, as there will be spoilers from the film in this video, so consider this your spoiler warning. One of the things that The Rise of Skywalker did well was throw a lot of easter eggs to other eras of Star Wars. When Babu Freak's operating on 3PO, you can see a, a battle droid on the wall. And when Kylo Ren finds Palpatine's home base on Exegol, we can see a lot of Sith statues, which we originally saw in the release on Star Wars Instagram on the IGTV with that special clip. What we're going to do is I'm going to play that special clip so you can try and make out the figures of who these Sith are on these statues, and then we're going to talk about how Darth Ravan has officially been made canon. So let's check out that clip. Alright, with that being done, let's take a look at this article that Screen Rant put out called Rise of Skywalker Officially Makes Darth Ravon Star Wars Canon. Quote, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker officially made Darth Ravon, along with a group of other ancient Sith Lords, part of Star Wars Canon. Ravon was the main character in Bioware's Knights of the Old Republic video game, which itself is a part of Star Wars Legends, but has been a story that fans have wanted to see acknowledged in some way in the overarching Star Wars franchise and now it seems it's finally happened. Over the years, various parts of the Knights of the Old Republic series have found their way into Star Wars animated shows, movies, and canon video games. For instance, the Hammerhead Corvettes that are seen in Rogue One originated in the Knights of the Old Republic. But more recently, it looks like a statue of Darth Nihilus from Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords, was seen on the planet Exegol and the Rise of Skywalker. While that hasn't specifically been confirmed yet, another part of the Knights of the Old Republic has been now. And that's the reason I played this clip for you guys, breaking from the article for a second. I played that clip so we get so you can decide who you think that these statues are. There's about three or four of them. I think one of them is Darth Ravon, and I'll show you this specific image here that I think that this is him. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Continuing on. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker introduces legions of Sith Troopers who are all part of Emperor Palpatine's Final Order. While the Sith Troopers get limited screen time in the movie, the official Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker visual dictionary confirms they were separated into legions of 5,000 troopers, and each legion was named after an ancient Sith Lord, one of them being Ravon Legion, 
This officially confirms Darth Revan as canon in Disney Star Wars. While this isn't the first time that Star Wars has flirted with the idea of making Darth Revan canon, it is the first time that it has been explicitly confirmed. Furthermore, what's interesting about the classification in the visual dictionary suggests only the Sith eternal cultists know the significance of these names. So while Darth Revan is canon, no one really knows who he is. Perhaps only Palpatine does. But beyond just naming Darth Revan, the visual dictionary also confirms other Sith Lords as canon as well. That's all we're going to take a look at from this Screen Rant article. What I'd like to do now is go into these pages of the Visual Dictionary and take a look at where we can actually see this in evidence. So the Visual Dictionary, I believe, has been um, put on back order or is not ready yet for anybody to actually purchase in store. But there was a digital edition that was released. And what I'd like to do is read and show you that excerpt. And it comes from the Sith Troopers portion of the Visual Dictionary. Sith Trooper units, and this is again kind of repetition from what Screen Rant said, but this is where we can see this in actual canon from the Rise of Skywalker Visual Dictionary by Pablo Hidalgo. Sith Troopers are organized into legions using the ancient definition of 5,000 soldiers. These are numerically identified, but also given the noun of ancient Sith Lords. As this history was hidden from the rest of the galaxy, only the Sith Eternal Cultists know the significance of these names and the very first one in the Notable Legions, the third Ravon Legion. So there we have it, Darth Ravon is officially canon, and we can see that through these Sith Troopers. So while the Sith Troopers aren't really that different from Stormtroopers, their backstory and history seems to be a lot different. And that's actually really exciting because it's not just a different Stormtrooper skin, they're getting a different backstory, which I'm very much happy about. And let me know what you guys think about Darth Ravon being canon in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, may God bless you, and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.